Hello and welcome to my channel, Flow with Amber. I'm Amber. We're gonna get started with a short full body flow. So when you're ready, we'll meet in Tadasana at the tops of our mat. Go ahead and ground through the feet, taking them hip distance apart. Feeling the energy lifting through the legs, tuck the tail slightly. Tuck the chin and lift through the sternum. Take the hands down by the sides. Take a full breath into the low belly and a sigh out of the mouth. Inhale, shrug shoulders to ears. Exhale, roll them down the back. Let's take five of these continuous rolls. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, roll it down and back. Finding your breath. Two more, nice and slow. Clasp the hands at the low back. Draw the shoulder blades towards one another. Reach the arms back. Gazing straight ahead or maybe with the eyes closed. Take a few breaths. Breathing from the root of the spine into the chest. And back down. Good, as we release the hands round through the spine, tuck chin to chest and clasp hands in front of you. Press the palms forward, little bend in the knees as we pull the back of the heart back. Breathing now into the back of the chest. Inhale, reach up. Let's walk the feet as wide as the mat. Keep the hands clasped and then reach over to the right. You can shift the weight over to the left hip and maybe start to gaze up. Connecting with your breath. Inhale back through center and exhale to the left. And back through center, release the hands to cactus arms. We're gonna bend through the left knee and twist, looking behind the left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend through the right knee, twist and look over the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale. Find a few more rounds with the pace of your breath. Warming up the spine. Last round. Beautiful. Start to take a forward fold. You might bend the knees a lot. You might grab opposite elbows. You can start to sway it out. Just relax the head. Feel into any stiff parts in your body and just move slowly like we're trying to unravel that tension. Maybe even making figure eights with the hips as you kind of bend one knee and push the hip back and draw a figure eight with the tail. Good, let's find a Malasana Yogi squat, hands to the mat. Turn the knees and toes out, lower the seat. You can also find a low squat if this isn't available in your body today. 
Let's bring hands towards heart center and Anjali Mudra, pressing the elbows into the knees, growing nice and tall through the spine. Ground down through the feet. Feeling the length in the spine. Setting your intention. Maybe this is just a short break in your day and your intention is just to regain some peace before you go back out there, <laughs> wherever there is. Good, let's really engage through the legs, reach the palms overhead. And exhale, forward fold to release. Walk the feet underneath the hips. Keep the right hand on the earth. Let's sweep the left foot back and start to open to the side for a half moon. Left arm high, toes pointing out to the left side of the mat. You can put a hand on a block if you need. You might take the left hand to the hip. You might bend that right knee a lot to get to the earth. And take a big step back, warrior two. Take a moment to check in with your stance. Heel and arch the foot, making one straight line, bending the knee right over the ankle and gazing over the middle finger. Flip the front palm, reach forward. Peaceful warrior, reach it back. Same bend in that front knee. Exhale, revolve side angle, left hand inside of the right foot, lift that back heel and twist the right arm up to the sky. Stacking the shoulders, squeezing thighs together, take two more breaths. Lower the back knee, inhale Anjane Asana, top of the foot might press into the earth. Exhale, cactus arms, press the hips forward. Maybe lift the chest, gaze up. Exhale, half splits, hands to the mat, and start to straighten through the front leg. Take five breaths here. Maybe shake the head no. And yes. Ground through the front foot. Pick up the back knee, step the right foot to plank and glide forward, hug elbows to ribs, chaturanga. All the way onto the belly, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's find five solid breaths here, spreading wide through the fingers, pointer fingers parallel to one another. Finding a lot of length through the spine, maybe bending the knees to get there and biceps and ears in one line, gazing between the toes. Take a really deep bend in the knees, bear pose. Look forward, left foot steps forward and right foot steps forward to meet it. Fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Left hand will stay grounded on the earth. Right leg is gonna sweep back. Open the hip as the toes turn out and right arm comes high, half moon. Reach taller through the fingertips. Graceful step back into warrior two. Take your time to find your alignment. Shoulders stacking over hips, front knee stacking over ankle. Energy pulling us in both directions, but in a good way. <laughs> Flip the front palm, reach forward and then reach it up and back, peaceful warrior, maybe binding 
the left arm, excuse me, the right arm around the low back. Good, our exhale will take us into revolve side angle, right hand inside of the foot, back heel lifts, left arm twists up to the sky. Stack the shoulders. Exhale, lower the knee. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, hips forward, cactus arms. Maybe reach the chest up, gaze up. Exhale, half splits. Pull that right hip forward, the left hip back, and find your edge. Find that sweet spot where you find the growth happening, the discomfort that turns into change. Start to ground through the front foot. Plant the hands, lift the back knee so you can step it to plank and glide forward, lower down, chaturanga, maybe into an upward facing dog, hips and knees lifted, arms straight. And exhale, downward facing dog, five breaths. Bend a lot through the knees, bare pose. Stay here, stretch through the shoulders. And then look forward, start to walk, step or hop to the top of the mat and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Taking a moment to reconnect with your intention. To feel how nice it feels to just bring that <laughs> heartbeat a little faster. Feel the muscles do some work. And allowing the mind to take a little rest. Mm. Start to bend through the knees. Come onto your tippy toes for an awkward chair. Reach the arms forward. Now, if the knees feel okay, we're gonna come all the way down into this little toe squat or a toe stand and reach the arms high. If the knees don't feel okay, you're gonna make your way onto the ground in a comfortable seat. and slowly start to press the heels down and find that nice comfy seat, maybe half lotus. Hmm. From here, let's take a neck circle, bringing left ear to left shoulder, dip the chin forward and bring it all the way around. Let's do two in each direction. Good, find a tall spine, crown of the head lifting, engaging the core to support the low back. And we'll end our practice here, finding a quiet few moments in meditation as the car <laughs> drives by and honks. <laughs> Thus is life, the distractions that come through when we're trying to find our peaceful moments. Being a yogi is looking at how we respond to those frustrations, those interruptions. 
knowing we can't control everything that happens outside of us. We can only control what happens within. So whatever noise is currently happening around you, just let's bring it into acceptance. Let's relax the space around the brows. Let the jaw hang a little looser. Spending our last minute here in silence. Your next exhale is a sigh out of the mouth. Draw the chin towards the chest, stretching through the back of the neck. Inhale, gaze all the way up, bringing stretch through the front of the throat. And then bringing the head on straight, let's bring hands at heart center. Pressing sternum into the thumbs with so much gratitude for this moment, this practice, this little break. May we continue to find peace throughout the rest of our day. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste.